Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Krobus. I think we finally did it. I believe we have donated enough artifacts to the museum and look at that, we even have a very happy day. What better way to welcome Krobus into our lives? Let's quickly check out the Queen of Sauce before heading outside where I believe Gunther will be waiting for us with a sewer key. Oh, good morning, Miss Pip. I hope it's not too early. Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum vault for at least a hundred years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. We got it, everyone! You got the rusty key. It's been added to your wallet. Look at that. 21st day of summer and we have unlocked Krovis. Oh yes, we passed out yesterday. <laughs> Pip, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You'd passed out from exhaustion. You've got to take better care of yourself and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I've billed you 150 gold to cover your medical expenses, Dr. Harvey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was that was our bad here. <laughs> but what do you know? We now have Krobus, and that is fantastic. Oh, we need to do something with all of this stuff here. Okay, so we are most certainly going to have to go say good morning to Krovis and see how he's doing. Oh, fishing. Here we go. Now we don't quite have enough money to be able to buy that wonderful little void egg. So we'll maybe hold off on gifting him first thing today. And we'll save up enough money to see if we can get that going. I'm just so excited. We finally did it. We're going to see Krovis. We're going to get to be friends with him. We need to expand our chicken coop so we can have our little void chicken around. Collect our few little blueberries. This might even help us be able to purchase that egg. Tripping over sprinklers. <laughs> oh, sounds about right. Oh, our inventory is already full. Okay. What do we need to drop off? Um, get rid of those. Kind of been hoarding our red pepper, so we'll just keep doing that. Might as well keep a tomato just so we can do some recipe cooking later. And we need to go check on our wonderful little chickens. And we have our quality sprinkler, so we might as well pop that down somewhere. Maybe right over here. Uh, yeah, let's just go with right there. And how are our chickens doing today? Oh, busy running around. Soon you guys are going to have a new little buddy. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to have our little void chicken running around. Oh, running into trees. Let's get wa uh, Luna all watered up here. That'll be fantastic. And then we can make our way in. Oh, no, we should go to the sewers. Say hi to Krobus. We'll be able to run back to Pierre's shop. Sell a few things. Okay watering can. I'm so excited. I can't even remember what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Krobus is just so much fun. Okay, away we go. Where 
off to see Krovis. <laughs> And of course, we still have the Trout Derby going on, so we'll spend the rest of the day participating in that and seeing how many more rewards we can get. Make our big loop around here. Look at all those fishermen just trying to catch those golden tags. They're at it bright and early. Lots of moss we can come back and collect off of the trees as well. That's good to see. We need lots of moss. You unlock the sewer hatch with the rusty key. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, Krovis, our sweet little buddy, here we come. Oh, look at him. Isn't he just adorable? A human visitor? This is most unusual. I'm Krovis, merchant of rare and exotic goods. Sorry, I'm still a little wary of humans. My shop is still open to you, however. Aww. So, yeah, that void egg is 5,000 gold, but we will be able to purchase it. Plus, he has a whole bunch of other goodies. The wizard ca catalog is new with the 1.6 update. And I believe the butterfly powder is as well. Sprinkle on a pet to remove them from your farm. This process is irreversible. Oh, I can't imagine anyone wanting to get rid of their adorable little pets, but I guess if you feel like you bought too many, there is a way to cut back. <laughs> All right, Pierre, you should be open here. We will just directly sell our blueberries to you. Oh, what do we have on the bulletin board? Does anyone have an extra algae? George. We can probably fish one up at the derby today. All right, let's do some <clears throat> let's do some selling of our blueberries. Oh, so close! What if we sold the mushrooms too? Would that help? Although we are low on energy. Okay, we can. Hmm. <laughs> I guess we can't really hatch our egg right now. Anyhow, we do need to get that coop upgraded at least one more level, so We'll see you again tomorrow, Krovis And we'll have to make a visit to Robin If we can get enough money, we'll get that coop upgraded And then we'll buy our little void egg Oh, those girls are so cute I wonder if they're twins Alright, so we got a bunch of gold bars Because we were going to turn them into more treasure bobbers, but now that we have Krobus, we don't have to worry about the museum as much. We'll, of course, still want to try and fill it up right to the brim at some point, but for now, we can relax a little bit on the artifacts now that we have Krobus. We have new things that we need to focus on, such as getting a whole bunch of Void Essence, so we'll be able to buy the Void Pendant to let Krovis live with us. So we'll be spending quite a bit of time in the Skull Caverns to get those because the serpents do drop those, which is fantastic. Plus it'll allow us to get our hands on some Iridium Ore. And then we also need to focus on upgrading our house once we have our coop upgraded. And then of course it's a matter of befriending Krovis which is going to be a very fun and enjoyable experience. Oh, our first golden tag of the day. And just like that, we have a mounted trout. So I think we have seen all of the prizes that the Trout Derby has to offer now. So we'll just keep fishing here for some extra income can always get more prizes, more geodes, perhaps we'll even get a prismatic shard if we are able to open enough of the Omni geodes. Oh, I cannot get over my excitement. I was a little worried that we wouldn't get Krobus until fall and then we got it in summer. Thank goodness. <laughs> we were trying so hard to get those artifacts and it was so difficult to decide the best ways to do it on a given day. Oh, we got some deluxe bait. Okay, so that was another new one to us, I think. <laughs> so 
hard to remember. Oh, our first treasure chest of the day. And one geode, okay. I just cannot begin to say how excited I am about Krobus. It's gonna be so much fun. I hope you guys all enjoy Krobus as much as I do. And if you've never had the chance to have Krobus as your roommate in Stardew Valley, I can't wait for you to get to see what that experience has to offer. Oh my goodness, do we ever have a lot of rainbow trout? <laughs> It's a good thing we have so much of that rainbow trout bait on us. Definitely the right way to go when you want to do the trout derby. And I think there is another fishing festival in winter. And I think that is like a squid catching uh, competition. I haven't personally had a chance to try it out yet, but I'm very excited to get to winter in one of my Stardew Valley files so I can do some coverage of that for you all. Also need to continue working on the different mastery levels on my more completed file. Oh, more deluxe bait for us. Now that is really handy bait because it also increases your fishing bar as well as getting the fish to bite faster. So if there's a certain type of fish that you struggle to catch, having the deluxe bait along with a cork bobber will greatly increase your chances of being able to catch any fish that you are struggling to obtain. Okay, Oop. more triple shot espresso. So we have officially gone around in a circle. <laughs> we will have a little extra zip in our step later. And the thing I like about the trout derby is that it's the rainbow trout are not a very difficult fish to catch. So even if you don't really enjoy the fishing in Stardew Valley, they're easy enough to catch that it should make participating in this festival pretty easy for you and give you a good chance to level up your fishing skill. There aren't any fish that are extremely difficult to catch. We did have a little struggle with the pike and the dorado. But again, if you have that fish specific bait, you're only going to be catching these easy fish. So it's a great way to up your fishing skill, get a couple little prizes, help improve your farm, especially with those quality sprinklers. They are so handy to have early game. Oh, we have new ideas to sleep on. That's exciting. We're getting quite high in our fishing skill. I can't even remember what level we're at at the moment. We were high enough to get the magnet bait and was that level eight, I think? Oh, so nice. Oh my, we're getting so many golden tags today. I wonder if our luck plays a role in that. Okay. More warp totems to home. Now that'll definitely help us when we decide to go venturing into Skull Cavern so we don't have to pass out. We can just warp home and crawl in bed. <laughs> Oh, it got away. <laughs> I love the little comments of the other fishermen. And more Omni Geodes. This was going to be a great way for us to unlock Krobus if we were still struggling to get Geodes. It looks like we should maybe snack on a couple of mushrooms before we totally exhaust ourselves. <laughs> too, uh, too excited about the fishing and all of the events of the day. We are partway through our journey to obtaining Krovis. The 
I'm hoping that was the hard part that we just finished, although getting the Void Essence can be a bit of a challenge as well. But like I said, to me, Krovis is 100% worth it. You really have to earn it to be able to get him to live with you. And he gives you lucky lunches. He's absolutely adorable. The things that he has to say, he's so sweet. You can give him hugs. Sometimes he'll decorate your house or give you a chair. It's always fun seeing what he has to offer you. We are getting pretty full on our inventory here. My goodness. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, we'll worry about it when we get to that point. <laughs> but yeah, I love the extra NPCs that come out for this festival. Gotcha. <laughs> It definitely helps with the fishing. And if you like to play Stardew Valley in multiplayer, why not get a bunch of, fi of the rainbow trout fish bait and make it a challenge among your friends. See who can catch the most rainbow trout during the trout derby, obtain the most prizes. It might be fun to see. I know I very much would love to do that. Come on, our little fish. <laughs> Some of the other fishermen don't seem to be having as much luck. That poor guy. <laughs> it would be kind of cool if you saw a few more of the original Stardew Valley characters participating. Willie usually does, or at least he does on the Saturday. So it'd be kind of cool if you saw others joining in that like to do some fishing like could you imagine clint trying to do some fishing out here they do participate in that uh ice fishing tournament so it'd be kind of cool if those same characters would participate here as well oh our second bucket hat of the day or of the event sorry we did get the other bucket hat yesterday We'll also have to decide if we want to have a mounted trout placed in our house. <laughs> I am not sure how everyone else feels about uh, mounted fish, but they kind of creep me out a little bit. <laughs> Needless to say, the automated ones that could sing were quite the sight. <laughs> All right, what should we get rid of? Hmm. Let's do the little chub here. And a crab pot, wonderful. We might have to eat our last three mushrooms just to make some extra space here. <laughs> we also need to work on expanding that inventory, but like I said, our priorities are just a little different at the moment, so we can put up with our inventory shortage for now. <laughs> we need that void egg, we need that chicken coop, we need our house expansion. We're gonna need some cash to get to the desert so we can get some extra void essence. We can get those in the mine as well in the lower levels, so we can definitely explore there for a while. I think there was another update to Stardew Valley where if you have reached the bottom of the floors that there are some new mine floor designs that we could stumble across. So we will have to go and check those out. So maybe that's something we will do while our coop is being upgraded and we can start working on collecting some void essence while we befriend Krobus along the way. Oof, I was a little scared that was going to be something new. <laughs> our luck, that would have been like our artifact and we would be having to decide what to throw away. 
I can't say I usually use crab pots in Stardew Valley, but this festival might start getting me to use them since I'm getting them as rewards and I'm not having to go out and craft them. It's one of those things I usually don't place and put bait in until I absolutely need it for a cooking recipe or to finish a community center bundle or to catch all of the fish in Stardew Valley. But for those of you that don't like fishing, do you prefer to use the crab pots because it's just easy experience points that way? You'll have to let me know. Oh, we're starting to get low on our energy once again. Like, look at us just fishing up a storm here. Oh. I thought that one fisherman was going to pull up a fish. It looked like he was getting a little excited dancing around there. Oh, that one got a bite. It's kind of cool. They all even have, like, different colored fishing rods or poles or whatever it is they're using. Kind of cool if Linus wanted to join in on this little fishing event, catch himself some fish that he could roast up over his little open fire. Oh. Definitely been catching our fill of the rainbow trout. Oh, we're gonna have to throw something away. <laughs> We'll just do the ore for now. We'll keep the mounted trout just in case any of you would like to see it placed up in our house. Three more mystery boxes. Those will be fun to open. I haven't really gotten a chance to open a whole bunch of them. I've definitely done a few. The rewards in it kind of vary quite a bit. I've seen like some fertilizer. I've seen additional mystery boxes. So it'll be a lot of fun getting to open a whole bunch of those and see what we can all get. Oh my, our golden tag count is definitely up today compared to yesterday. And another diamond. We also need to decide what gem we would like to place inside of our crystallarium. So you guys will have to let me know. Do you have a certain preference for what you like to stick in there? Do you like to put the diamonds in for some extra cash? Do you like to put jade in so you can get some staircases from the desert trader? Do you like to do the fire quartz so you can quickly get a whole bunch of quartz all at once or perhaps you like using a specific gem because a character in stardew valley loves them do let me know oh we've reached that pivotal moment i guess we will lose the sunfish probably could have left some more of my tools behind <laughs> Oh, our second mounted trout. So we have two now. <laughs> oh, goodness. What a day. Lots of tags, lots of rewards. We got Krovis. Definitely has been a good day all around. Hopefully, <laughs> I will remember to get us home before we pass out today. I couldn't believe we didn't get a chance to ship all of our fish <laughs> definitely was not paying close enough attention to that clock oh my well i think it's time to say goodbye to the bream <laughs> and more bait wow what a great way to get a hold of that deluxe bait especially when you can't craft it right away because it's very expensive to craft needing that you need the regular bait plus the moss it's not cheap to make so it's so good that you can find it in fishing chests you can get it from the trout derby Ooh, those pike are sneaky
Oh, I was gonna say, do we have any more bites? Oh, another chest. You just never know what you're gonna get. It's so much fun to see. We have good luck today, so you just never know what kind of goodies we could obtain. Look at that, more bait, a tear, a golden tag. <laughs> I guess that means we'll say goodbye to our pike. <laughs> and we'll just trash the tear there. Okay, now why don't we try on our bucket hat because that will give us a little bit more inventory space. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's quite the, quite the look there. Oh, more triple shot espresso, wonderful. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. <laughs> Oh my, golden tags galore. Like, I mean, if you can increase your luck, it looks like it may actually affect how many golden tags you get. So we have gotten two quality sprinklers today. So in total, that means we will have obtained three quality sprinklers just from fishing for two days. So you're increasing your fishing skill. You're getting to easily expand your garden by having some automatic watering going on. Wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. And I think this is going to be our final fish of the night, and then we will start heading home. Okay, we are full up here. So we will just leave everything behind for the moment. Oh, look at that. Some spice berries we're going to have to leave behind. <laughs> I guess we could have put our crab pot in the water and that probably would have given us enough space, but that's okay. Oh my goodness, is it ever getting dark? Okay, so we have 30 gold quality, 15 of the silver, 14 iridium, and then we'll throw the pike and the bream in as well. And we can quickly lump everything else in here we might as well leave our bars behind probably should have done that this morning throw our crab pot in the fishing and we'll put our mounted trout in here for the moment as well toss in our extra bait and oh we weren't keep oh we haven't found a home for the mystery boxes yet so let's just toss them in here for now along with our warp totems and was there anywhere that this would benefit us? Um, we've got two, so we'll just pop them right there. They'll help. <laughs> help a little bit. Let's get to bed before we pass out. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the finale of our Trout Derby and unlocking Krovis. We no longer need to worry about finding treasure, so let's get that fish worth 50% more with the angler profession. And our fishing efforts for the last couple of days got us 7,925 gold. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.